Hi everybody, welcome to my homestead and welcome to my channel. In this video, I had a few additional uh, thoughts after I made this video, the tornado and the 2024 eclipse, that uh, I think are kind of interesting. So if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you end up liking it. Uh, make sure to share it and then leave your comments so I can know what you think about this. So in this first video, if you haven't watched it, make sure to go back and watch it. I'll put it, put it in the description below. Um, because this video that I'm doing right now is going to add on to this one. So, um, one thing that I realized, I, I don't know how I missed this the first time, but, okay, so let's go back here to the path of, tw of the tornado. The tornado started here in this corner of Arkansas. It went through this little weird part of Missouri that hangs down, uh, from the rest of the state. It nicked the corner of Tennessee, and then, uh, it went in through this part of Kentucky diagonally okay now uh you you'll recall that in that last video i talked about how this is the path and the direction of the 2024 eclipse the outer edge of the path of totality goes right along here right where the tornado was now the other thing that i uh, the thing that i thought about afterwards was this okay so you have um the cross of the the, the 2017 uh, eclipse and the 2024 eclipse they cross right here uh pretty close to carbondale illinois that's where the center is it's actually in illinois so let's go to this map here and here i have it right here on the map um so the path of the tornado again it started here it went through this little section of missouri this little corner of Tennessee and then up into Kentucky and then it stopped you know somewhere around here so basically if you look at it it's almost like it underlines the path of it underlines where the crossing point is going to be right where this uh, red uh, indicator is right here that's like almost like halfway if you like draw a line straight down that would pretty much like cut in half um, almost like into two equal parts, I think, the path of the tornado. So let's look at it again. So come back over here, okay? So it started right about here, and then it ended right about over here. And uh, Carbondale, let's look at this again. So here's this like little pointy tip of Illinois right here. So it's like directly north of that. So if we go here, and we zoom in, so if Carbondale is like right here where the like the letter D is or maybe the uh, comma right here after Mayfield, you go straight down and uh, it, it pretty well, yeah, it like cuts it in half almost like not quite. I don't know if it's quite perfectly in half. Like I don't know how accurate this uh, this little picture is here, this graphic, but it does more or less kind of cut it in half. So it's very interesting that the path of the tornado it underlines where the X is. Uh, I Again, I, I, I don't think that that's a coincidence. I already think it's so unlikely, so unlikely that the path of the tornado would almost perfectly match uh, this right here, the, um, the path of the eclipse in the same direction. That's just crazy to me. That's crazy. Um, okay, so that's going to be about three years from now right uh three years and like four months so i don't know uh i think it's some kind of sign um i think the fact that it, it's directly under uh where the two the, you know this crossing point is i think it's really important it's significant that it, it underlines this area right here now another little detail that i found is this um <clears throat> so when i i don't know about you but like when i think when everybody first saw this we were like oh it makes an x over um the heartland you know and it, it looks like it's like by missouri now like i like i just showed you it, it's actually going to be in um illinois but when i first saw this before i knew uh, i was like wow is that going to be is it like over missouri is it over jackson county well, it's not. It's not over Jackson County, Missouri, but as it turns out, it does go over Jackson County, Illinois. <laughs> it goes, it's 
it, it's over. The X is over Jackson County, Illinois. Now, that might be just coincidence. I, I don't know. That, that's just really weird. It's weird that the first eclipse went over Jackson County, Missouri. Uh, and then I guess after that, Jackson County, Illinois. And now this next eclipse is going to go over Jackson County, Illinois. Okay, so let's just read what I highlighted here. Uh, for the for the 2017 and the 2024 eclipses, X marks the spot near the east shore of Cedar Lake in Jackson County, Illinois. The closest town to this exact astronomical treasure map <clears throat> map spot is Makanda, population about 500. The nearest city of any size is Carbondale, located about three miles to the northeast. In fact, both Makanda and Carbondale are touting themselves as the place where the two center lines cross, with Carbondale and its Southern Illinois University partner adopting the tagline, Eclipse Crossroads of America. Uh, we'll just split the difference and give Jackson County the bragging rights. So, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's so weird. It's so weird, you know. I'm sure there's somebody there like, ah, oh, you're just making a whole lot out of nothing. It's just coincidence. Um, I don't know. That could be. I, I tend not to think so, though. I really don't. Uh, I I don't know what the chances are, you know. I don't know what the what the likelihood is that you would have the path of this significant record-breaking tornado, um, basically perfectly trace the path of the eclipse that's coming up in three years underneath right right underneath the the x point the the center point that's so bizarre that's so bizarre to me okay so i'll just leave it there um let me know what you think uh put it in the comments below do, do you think that this means something um do you think the lord is like giving us signs um Anyway, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you liked it, hit the notification bell, uh, make sure to share it, um, and I'll talk to you guys later.